Hello, hello, Sagittarians. Intuitive Soul Coach here with your June full moon reading. So welcome if you are returning and welcome if you are new to my channel. Today we will be diving into the full moon energy in June, which happens to land on around June 24th, depending on your location. And uh, we'll be taking a look at what it is you need to celebrate, uh, what your untapped spiritual gifts and greatest strengths are, a message from spirit, how you've grown during this moon cycle, and steps that you can take to continue growing. So wow, we have a lot of cards wanting to come out and speak to you today, Sag. So, um, and just a friendly reminder, it's a general collective reading for the energy of Sagittarius and may not resonate. Please take what does and leave the rest. If you are interested in signing up for a personal reading or even a free reading, you can find both of those links in the description box below. So we're going to dive right in here to your June full moon reading. What are we celebrating for you? It looks like a major transformation, Sag. This is the death card here. It's a time of an ending. Rebirth brings a new chapter in. I'm loving this energy for you because I get a really positive vibe. This is all about you outgrowing a cycle and you moving forward into a new chapter, a new beginning. So let's take a look at what this is for you. What is this new chapter that's coming in? All right. I mean, the death card is, a lot of people might look at that as something bad, but it's it's a transformation. It's a rebirth of something. So whether this is a rebirth with, um, with a new person, possibly from the past, if this is a rebirth of something you've been trying to get off the ground for a while, whether it's a career or a job, situation or building a business here let's take a look spirit what is this transformation that my beautiful Sagittarians are going through and it could be something you know as, as a internal transformation as well so let's take a look all right we have the hanged man showing up the hanged man so two major arcanas right off the bat so we have the hanged man in reverse showing up here so what this tells me here Sag is you you finally uh, were fed up in a situation here and you weren't hanging around anymore. You played the waiting game for long enough in a situation. So again, let's take a look at what that was for you. So you were waiting and waiting and waiting on something, I feel, and you, you've you been craving this transformation, whether this is an internal transformation that really manifests in your outer world. But I'm feeling for many of you, you, you did wait around for a long time and finally it happened and you're like, wow, this is really happening right now. So let's take a look. Queen of Pentacles showing up here in the upright position. This is uh, building something stable, building something very successful and abundant. It is, um, it could be a healer, a working parent. This, this queen is a self-made uh, independent energy as well, but she's very practical. She's a nature lover. She's thrifty. She's outdoorsy. Uh, so it could be you working on your finances at this time. Uh, it could be you trying to birth um, new life into a family situation here or build up finances to create a life of abundance. So let's pull another one on the Queen of Pentacles. So yeah, a lot of transformation regarding uh, materialism as well. Maybe many of you are trying to look at moving or buying a new home or moving. Um, I'm hearing somebody just said moving for my job. Somebody might be moving for their job as well. Focusing on money matters for some of you. Um, but for others that are focusing on relationship transformation here, um, this is outgrowing a cycle and stepping into something that's more stable. Uh, if there's been a, a rocky past or a, a history of possibly, you know, in and out energy or something that just wasn't stable. Okay, we have two queens coming in here. Two queens. So the queen of wands showing up in the upright position is... Somebody's feeling very attractive, looking very independent here, looking feisty. This person knows their potential. They know their self-worth. They're very social, very passionate about life. This could be entrepreneur energy as well. Um, so I'm feeling this could be two separate energies, and it doesn't have to be uh, a female or a male person here. It's just the energy that's showing up as feminine. Uh, but we have two queens here, so take that as it resonates. But we have one that's trying to build their finances. So this could be you here, Sag, where uh, one of you is trying to build your finances and the other one's being a little bit more uh, independent, more social. So this could be you and your partner here. If this is a relationship, a romantic one, it could be a family member. 
Uh, and this could be your energy as well. You are splitting your time between being out with friends, being social, having a good time, enjoying yourself, enjoying you feeling good. And then you could also be working on your money matters as well, trying to build a home. And um, it could be maybe you were butting heads with somebody in the past because you're going through a major transformation. This could be uh, somebody you're dealing with that you're kind of transform that energy, um, but it could be your energy. Maybe in the past you were feeling like you wanted to be solo, independent, um, social, maybe single, and then stepping into this power is the transformation here, the rebirth, or it could be vice versa. Take it as it resonates here. Uh, for many of you, I feel like this is you shedding some sort of skin. And not that you can't be both here, Sag, but it's definitely somebody that wants something more stable, more solid. I mean, this this person's always fun. She always likes to go out and have a good time and, you know, get her get her party shoes on, get her dance game on, date, mingle. Um, but she's not as secure and solid as the Queen of Pentacles here. So that could be the transformation that you're really going through at this time and uh, really moving forward with. And it could be... Um, a different person as well so let's take a look at what your untapped spiritual gifts and greatest strengths are during this full moon energy cycle so june 24th going into july here uh, so what is my beautiful sagittarians untapped spiritual gifts and greatest potential or greatest strengths all right thank you spirit so we have partnership and alliances choose wisely and spiritual union wow okay so again partnership and alliances this is the three of wands energy the three of wands is all about uh an expansion on some sort of opportunity here uh, it's about it's about looking at something that and wondering if we've invested into something and if we're going to get a return out of it okay so it is, it's also about partnership and alliances as well, partnering up. You could be partnering up with a new uh, partner, with a new business prospect as well. But we do have the two of cups and we do have choose wisely. So very interesting combo here regarding your untapped spiritual gifts. So I feel like you are a good people person, Sag. You're very... Um, you're very loving. You do use your heart in a lot of matters, but I feel like you can think logically as well. So sometimes you get too much in your head or too much in your heart, but I feel like your spiritual gift is uh, compassion here and to be able to create partnerships and uh, alliances. Try to create bonds between people here because threes are all about trinity, harmony, union, advancement. Uh, so for many of you, your greatest strength is uh, connection, harmony, trying to uh, create the balance between a union here. And then uh, we do have choose wisely. This is the seven of cups energy. This is all about you are very good at daydreaming, Sag, uh, and wishful thinking. But what this is telling me here is even when you feel like you are very indecisive or you're not sure if you've made the right choice here, your spiritual gift here is that you can actually manifest and hone in when you know what decision you want to make you go for it all in is what i'm getting um and but but there's also a backside of this as well if you're not in that uh energy of alignment here i feel like you can tend to get really wishy-washy and not you're not sure of which direction to go but i feel like a really big strength of yours is once you have your mind set on something you go forward and there's no turning back so i feel like that's what that's saying as far as your spiritual strength and then we have um the two of cups so the two of cups is all about um some sort of high level commitment here it could be some sort of union showing up for you and uh, whether this is you trying to continuously, again, create balance within a union, even if you feel maybe that's not your strong suit, I feel with you, Sag, and I'm also getting uh, Libra energy as well. You could be working with um, a Libra. This isn't uh, the Libra card here, but the Two of Cups, it's meeting of minds. So this is what spirit's telling me is your spiritual strength or gift. You can see here that these two people are connecting through their crown chakras and they're connecting based on that spiritual like-minded energy here. So I'm really loving this gift. This is something beautiful that you can share with others. And it doesn't have to be just a romantic uh, partnership. It could be family. It could be friends. It could be 
uh, you know, in your workspace as well. But instead of connecting just on that uh, heart heart connection here, you do see them connecting through the minds. Um, and that's something that you can use as a benefit for you, as a, a strength. So let's just clarify this energy as well. Spirit, what else do we have for my beautiful Sagittarians for their untapped spiritual gifts and strengths? We have judgment. So um, judgment, again, I was just saying um, all about balance. So this is the Libra card, actually. Um, but this is the card of karma. So this is you wanting to seek equality and fairness in all situations. And that's exactly the energy I'm picking up on. So whether you are working with a Libra Sag or you have Libra placements in your chart, this is a beautiful spiritual gift that you have is you like to weigh up your options before you make a decision. And sometimes, you know, you may feel like you get stuck in your head and you can't make a decision, but really one of your greatest strengths is once you choose, once you see all sides of all situations here, you're able to choose and move forward uh, and help others along the way. And that's exactly where this partnership comes in, this three, because you do use your judgment. You do use you know, you want to weigh up what's best for everybody in this situation. Uh, what choices will benefit everybody and how can I bring them together on that like-minded energy? So beautiful card to clarify that. So let's take a look at what uh, spirit has for you, Sag. What messages does spirit have for my beautiful Sagittarians for the June full moon, June 24th energy going into July here? What messages do they have for my Sagittarians? Okay, one more, please. Thank you. All right, we have obstacles and challenges and power. Okay, so we have the five of wands energy. The five of wands is all about a need to collaborate and work together. So it's about not being overly competitive in a situation here, Sag. So you might find that coming up during this full moon cycle, you know, full moons are a time of endings here. Endings bring new beginnings. And that's exactly what this transformation card is for you. Um, but the, the message I'm picking up here for the obstacles and challenges is, you know, look before you leap. Don't get too stuck in your head with all of these um, decisions that may come up here. Really weigh the options, think about something, and think about how you can work with another uh, human being to advance. You're not alone here, and you can see here that he is alone on this, um, but there, there is a leap of faith that is required. And sometimes some of you I'm hearing uh, can be very stubborn asking or receiving help from another individual. So I feel spirit is saying here in this um, full moon energy that comes up, just be open to working with others at this time. Fives are all about change. They're about uncertainty, but it's also about freedom, travel, and can be obstacles as well. But I feel what it's really saying is um, don't be stuck in your head about something. Don't be, uh, especially if somebody is very narrow minded, my way or the highway type, make sure you are thinking you know, with that like-minded energy here and that crown chakra and third eye, and you're really connecting on a deeper level instead of with your ego is what I'm hearing here. And then we have the strength card, the power card here. This is all about your inner strength, Sag, your willpower, your courage, you stepping fearlessly into your own power here and not focusing on external influences or what other people think you should do or think of who you should be at this time. This is about you taking a deep look at who you really are, uh, your own personal power and not giving that power out, but also uh, allowing people to see you for who you are and uh, ex people accepting you for who you are is what I am getting here. So Spirit, can we please clarify what else do you have for my beautiful Sagittarians? Can you clarify what are these obstacles and challenges that they need to work together with others for during this time. All right, we have the lovers. Okay, this is Gemini energy as well. Uh, so Sag, this could be a relationship, a key relationship in your life here with the lovers that maybe you tend to butt heads. Maybe you both are too much alike. And sometimes you both get in that ego state of mind here instead of heart chakra, head connection here. Maybe you both get to that fear base of, 
uh, I'm right, you're right, you're wrong, I'm right. You know, you go back and forth uh, with that push-pull energy, but really what Spirit is saying in all of your relationships, it doesn't necessarily have to be a romantic one, but the lovers is all about, you know, that perfect match, that feeling mutual with another person here. It's also about twin flame energy. It could be about um, a marriage as well or a high-level commitment, but traditionally the lover's card is about choice. So Sag, I feel like you have a choice coming up with these obstacles and challenges, a choice to work together in a union here, or the choice to, you know, walk away from a union. Maybe it's just a temporary pause to get your head back in order here, um, but definitely trying to work and grow with somebody instead of you both standing out on each ledge here uh, with who's right. You know, fighting with the person of, well, my side's going to fall or your side's not big enough or your side has more cracks in the foundation. Instead, how can you both bridge that gap and work together in a situation where you don't have to worry about whose piece is bigger or whose, you know, whose ego is better? Pretty much it's an ego battle here uh, regarding you and another being. So Spirit, what other uh, message should we have here? Uh, for the power card. So we're just going to clarify the strength here. And I feel what the strength is representing really is, do you have the strength to get into your heart, uh, lead with love, lead with compassion, and uh, lead with empathy moving forward? All right. Yep. Yeah, okay. All right. This is a past person, possibly somebody that you've been in and out with. Uh, Sag, this is somebody that you may have a toxic cycle that you're going in repetitive cycles with over and over and over. The devil energy is all about temptation here. It doesn't have to be necessarily an addiction. It could be, it could be substance abuse, pills, uh, you know, anything of that nature, but it also could be addiction, obsession, lies, manipulation, codependency. I feel like in this case, it could be both of you are maybe obsessed with another because uh, the lover's card is also that twin flame energy as well. But the six of cups is somebody from the past um, wanting to give something a second chance over and over and over again. But you're wrapped up in this toxic cycle with them of this manipulation or this codependency or the he said, she said of constantly ego battles between each other. And it's hard to move on and it's hard to um create this spiritual union that you certainly can create here spirit is saying you have the gift you have the strength to create union you have that libra uh either we're working with the libra again or it's in your chart but you have what it takes to move forward from this toxic cycle if you can release that fear if you can release that toxic energy and if you can release that ego based uh central energy that the both of you get tied up in at times so I understand why you need the strength to do, to do that. A lot of you may self-sabotage as well. And you could self-sabotage with this devil energy coming in and uh, not want to learn the lesson. And I feel what spirit is saying is this huge transformation that you're celebrating is, uh, you know, when we have those two of wands or those uh, two queens in the beginning, the queen of wands, the queen of pentacles, it's saying that you're done playing those games. Uh, you know, you're done playing the in and out energy. You want something stable, committed. You don't want to fight anymore is what I am getting here for you, Sag. So I'm really liking this transformation. It's very beautiful. I feel like you have a lot of untapped gifts here. You have a lot that you have moving forward. So I am liking this energy. All right. How have you grown during this cycle, this moon cycle here? How have you grown as an individual, as a, a soul, as a person here? How have you grown based on your past. All right. Spirit, what do we have for my beautiful Sag? How have they grown? We have movement, choices, decisions. Okay. Yeah. This is the two of pentacles. This is you have grown by, you've had a lot to juggle. Okay. You've had a lot Sag that you've been trying to work on. You've been trying to work on your money. You can see the coins here. You've been trying to work on a relationship in your life. You've been trying to plant new growth, new seeds. You've been trying to open yourself up to opportunities that are coming your way. I feel for many of you, um, you've tried to work on some sort of advancement within your career. Uh, for many of you, you're trying to get to that relationship piece of spiritual union here. 
You are trying to grow and build a life that's abundant, something that you can finally see that the seeds are reaping the benefits of what it is that you planted. And you're seeing um, new opportunities for what there is. So I feel like you've grown a lot during this full moon with finding out who you are, what it is that you want. You've been asking yourself the big questions in life. What are my priorities? What makes me happy? Who do I want to spend the rest of my life with? You know, if you don't have children yet, maybe, you know, do I want to start a family or do I want more children or do I want to stop having children? Maybe um, all your children are out of the house. Maybe it's a new journey in you stepping into um, being a grandma or grandpa. I really feel like this is a lot of internal deep thinking on your end here, Sag. And it's um, your relationship with others is really important, I'm feeling. Your relationship with others in a career, you know, in a relationship, it's not just one, it's all of them. So I feel like you've learned a lot during this moon cycle, but let's clarify. Spirit, what is the, this movement, choices, and decisions? What, are the, what is this two of pentacles? It's, um, you want all of them? Okay. It's balancing, you know, work and play and finding out, again, what, what is important. This is a huge chunk, Spirit. You want me to talk about, yep, okay. There it is, the Queen of Wands energy again in reverse. So do you want the chunk like this, Spirit? Yep, they do, okay. So uh, we have the Queen of Wands showing up in reverse. You're done with that in and out energy, whether this is a person in your life, whether this is your own energy. Uh, but the Queen of Wands is definitely, she's she can come off as a little bit jealous, somebody who can be insecure, may, maybe a little bit vengeful, but she can be overconfident. This is her in reverse, very bold headed and she gets what she wants typically, but she can be very in and out because she doesn't want to settle down. She wants to live the high life, so to speak. And I feel like that's something that you don't want anymore. You don't want somebody that doesn't want to settle down. You want, we have the Ace of Swords here. So what I'm feeling is you want um, a new understanding. You want new communication. This is you really getting raw, honest, and this is about open conversation uh, open confessions to somebody that you care about deeply about who it is that you are and your expectations and what it is that you want out of life. The Ace of Swords comes in and this is you having that aha moment, that light bulb moment and realizing that you're cutting through any of the BS. You're cutting through any barriers. And again, they're illuminating the, the, the crown chakra here. And you have that is what I was saying with this card, meeting of the mind, meeting on this deeper, truthful, honest, raw level. And I feel like that's what it is that you've been growing and learning during this cycle. Yeah, you want another ace. Holy moly, you have another ace here, Sag. The ace of wands is all about a new passionate beginning or idea. You feeling inspired and wanting to go all in. You chasing your dreams. You chasing... You know, if it's a relationship that you want, going all in and getting what needs to, you know, what needs to happen in the person that you want to be towards this relationship, you finally taking the steps to do it. Um, but or you manifesting or creating that again, crown chakra energy. It's it's something that you are transforming at this time and you're really taking a look at and you're being serious about it, or somebody else is being serious about it. But I feel this is your energy of not wanting to play games. You want the happy family, Sag. Exactly what I'm picking up on here. You want the Ten of Cups. You want uh, you want this happy fulfillment here. Many of you, you want this unconditional love, con being content within relationships that didn't serve you. Uh, maybe that toxic energy of that in and out or that constant ego battle or fight here. But what you really crave is stability, family, security, emotional wealth, abundance. And uh, you've, you've had an aha moment that came in quite hot for you. For many of you, you could be moving. You could be traveling as well with the chariot energy here. But this is all about triumph and success. This is about movement in a positive situation here. This transformation is for the positive here. You're finally stepping out of that place of uh, feeling that loss with the five of cups here. It's, this is all about feeling heartbroken or disappointed um, maybe based on a situation from the past because something kept repeating itself over and over again. So you're leaving that behind and you're finally able to grow something solid with the Seven of Pentacles, something that you've been wanting to grow solid for a long time. What is it that you've been wanting to grow solid? A passionate new beginning in this life of this Ten of Cups energy, this family, this emotional wealth, abundance. It, maybe it's, you know, not just family, 
Uh, maybe it's you wanting to, I see many of you wanting to actually expand a family, like I was saying earlier, grow, uh, marry somebody that you love, connect. Um, for many of you, I'm seeing that you didn't have a lot of people supporting you as you were growing up or in your family foundation. Maybe you had a single mom or a single dad and you always wanted um, more family. Maybe you wanted a brother and sister. Or you were an only child. I'm feeling for many of you, you want family, you crave family, but you haven't had it for so long. You forgot what it looked like. And now that it's finally, you're transforming and shifting the way that you think, Sag, you're calling that into your life and you're finally growing something stable that you've been wanting for a long time. So, wow, that got really deep, really deep, really quick, um, but I'm loving this. So we're going to take at action, take a look at action steps that you can take to continue growing. So what are some action steps that my beautiful Sagittarians can take to continue growing on their journey forward? So let's take a look here. I am seeing somebody, um, somebody just signed something. It's some sort of certificate, some sort of award or reward. Um, but I feel like it's a, it's something that you almost can hang on a wall showing your accomplishment. It's not going to resonate with everyone. Take it as it does. But somebody is receiving either some sort of reward or some sort of uh, training or accomplishment. Whoa. Okay, we don't want all those. Spirit, just give me a couple, please, for my beautiful Sag, even though we all are always working on something. So these are steps that you can take here to continue growing. So what steps can Sag take here to continue growing? Thank you, Spirit. Singing and dancing. Okay. So we have expressed yourself and awakened your psychic senses through the magical power of music and movement. So they can, this can take shape in any form here for you, Sag. This could be you singing at the top of your lungs in your car, in your shower, maybe singing karaoke on a Friday night, you going out dancing, maybe you going to a music festival and dancing, but it could be something as simple as um, you dancing and swing. Maybe you were taking a new aerial yoga class or you taking, um, I, I am seeing somebody actually taking some sort of class regarding moving their body, but it's not quite dancing. It could be like, uh, could be hula dancing or even a, a pole dancing class. Um, but for exercise or for, um, more of a creative passion interest is what I'm seeing here. So uh, somebody also, I'm hearing them, they, they used to sing in a choir because I'm, I'm hearing a very beautiful, almost angelic voice, or maybe this is something that you listen to before bed as well. So again, take it as it resonates. Sag, this was a super deep, beautiful reading. Sometimes, sometimes I just am surprised by spirits in depthness here, but I hope this resonates with you. If so, please hit that like and subscribe button. You are doing beautiful. I'm so proud of you for going through this beautiful transformation here. Again, if it resonates, I would love if you would be willing to share, like, subscribe, comment, but at your own uh, feeling, if you feel compelled to do so, please do. I'm grateful for each and every one of you, and I look forward to tuning in next time. Lots of love.